Hello Chassis, it's Archie Cousin here, the CEO of Clapham. I do hope this little YouTube video finds you well. I've taken the weekend off entertaining clients to be here on behalf of Robbie Pod to interview the general public about the big clash, England versus Scotland. And I tell you what, you can just tell no one here is feeling the, uh, the cost of living crisis. Let's go and have some banter. I'm here with some absolute banter. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing roses on your head. Oh my God, look. Oh, fucking hell, that is extraordinary. Is that real? My God, Lord, sweet Darian. And look, this man's getting his protein in, and unfortunately his carbohydrates. So I would expect you to have that without the bun. Whoa, here we go. One beautiful chica. They say it's just, uh, just for men, but hello, wow. Donald, where's your trousers? Lovely, right. lovely. Yeah, didn't understand a word of that, but that's brilliant to say. But just to reiterate, there is no knife crime in Clapham. There's knife crime all over London. Not in Clapham. There is, it's been, it's not been about stabbing in, in Clapham. Well, let's agree to disagree. Hello, lads. Hello, mate, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, good. You, you're not, I'm you're Australian. We're here to watch, we're here we're to watch, watch Australian. Australian. Nah, <laughs> shit, I'm in the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> that is that, that's classic. We want to watch England. Okay, okay, that's absolutely phenomenal. Really good. They must be a lot of fun on a night out. I tell you. Look okay, yeah, they stank of uh, cocaine. How is the deal going? Are you? It's, it's we quids in. We quids in. Quids in. That is what I like to see. A man doing business while he's at Twickenham. That's phenomenal chat. Alex Payne, I'm doing. I'm doing stuff for Rugby Pod. I'm doing stuff for Rugby Pod. What made you wear that hat? That's so funny. Oh, eight, eight pound, but I give, I give them a listen. I give them a ten pound. Did you? Right, yeah. yeah. And who, who are you hoping to win today? Uh, England and Scottish. I want it to be a draw. You want it to be a draw? Oh, that's very sweet. But seriously, England, yeah? <laughs> okay, good. All right, thanks very much, guys. Enjoy the game. Take care. See you later. Oh, kids have the worst chat. Can I just say, I'll tell you what we do at my rugby club. When you first play your first game, what you have to do is one guy lies on the floor, yeah. someone gets a can of Strongbow, sits over, pulls their trousers down and let, yeah. let the, the Strongbow go through their bottom. Oh. It's called a bum funnel. Oh, lovely, yeah. Freddy, um, I'm just going to approach a man that is wearing what I can only describe as a sleeping bag. Are, are you Scottish? I am Scottish. Yeah. You sound like, sounds, a, sounds, like sounds like a kind of person whose family own a lot of land up in Scotland and then has been brought up Scottish. Before it was gambled away, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Guy, what the police do here, they get ex rugby pros who have played a standard rugby to police the, the tournament. Is that true? Chief I am Charles? the chief, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Even the, even the law know who I am. How bad is Oli Pope's chat and why does he keep posting his Labrador online? That's of him to do that, isn't it? Okay, all right, okay. That's, that was fun. Really good banter. So, just talk us through the outfit. That is a brilliant look. I've had an operation, so. Oh, right. Do you want to see the sweater? Oh, jeez. Okay. That is, uh, that's devastating. Poor guy got hit in the face. You single? I am at the moment. Yeah. Okay, that's not surprising, but okay. I have to say, Freddie, uh, Twickenham is a wonderful place for a date. Um, just behind a couple who are doing their third date at Twickenham, and we wish them all the best. Uh, and uh, waist waist of trousers? Thirty four. Thirty six. Thirty four. Thirty six. <laughs> uh, Come on, don't lie. Forty four. <laughs> Get your trousers down. We'll have a look. On. Come on. I want to have a look. Let's have a look. No, he's right. It's a 34. Absolute banter coming this way. Just let's get that insight there. This guy, I think he's starting his own podcast. What was your insight there? Farrell's a cunt. That's beautiful. Uh, I don't know what's happening here, but um, someone from the Labour Party has uh, managed to get into Twickenham. Let's try to find. Sir, can I just grab a word for you for the rugby pod? Hello. Do you see that combination, Marcus Smith and Farrell, working today? And if so, why? I'll come to you first, sir. Um, well... I don't see why it can't work, you know. It hasn't worked yet? Well, it didn't work in the summer, that's for sure. But Previous to that, it didn't work? Well, we just got to give them a bit more time, maybe. Okay. Have we got time? World Cup's around the corner? Yeah, there's plenty of time. It's going to be a tough game. Obviously, under-20s game was very tight, but I think we'll pull through with the win today. Burnt nearly 560 calories just doing this thing. Um, Chopsy! Chopsy! Well, uh, there's some people coming from Scotland wearing skirts. It's 2023. You can wear skirts, right? You can. And uh, you won't be allowed in Clapham, just to let you know. No, definitely not in Clapham. Maybe Putney. This is quite a special time. Uh, this is a man who's been at Twickenham for the last how many years? Don't know. Don't know. Five, six? Something like that. Yeah. He's, and he's seen it all. He's seen it. He's seen coaches come and go. Yeah. That is rugby through and through. Doesn't matter if you're man or women. You you, you got banter. Banter's banter. Where do you think it's going to be won and lost today? Probably up front. Probably up front. You heard it here first. 
guy that has been here for the last how many years? Five, six. Five, six years. So he's seen he's seen it all. <sighs> right. Have you thought about having your own podcast? No. You really should. Really should. We have a quite a, a unique relationship. We don't talk much, but we know our jobs. We're very much like the forwards of England. We just know what we're going to do, and we're just doing a final sweep. So if you can make your way into Twickenham, we don't have tickets. We're just going into the village, but obviously, so 76,000 followers. Yeah, but you can't go in there without tickets. That's yeah, but I'm the CEO of Clapham. Sorry. Do you want to see my LinkedIn page? I can show you my LinkedIn page. I, I know what you're going to show me. L but LinkedIn. But just I, have wanna, I have a problem. I have over 20,000 connections with, on LinkedIn. But I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm in charge here, right. and I'm supposed to ensure that everyone who's coming through here, they okay. have a QR code, so they have a ticket. Is it make a difference if I tell you I know the CEO of HSBC? It won't make a difference. Right, okay. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, guys.